Lexio Divina literally means divine reading. So it's sacred reading. It's an ancient practice, and it basically means prayerfully reading a religious or sacred text. Most usually it's done with scripture. So what you want to do is find a passage of scripture, something usually not too long, relatively short. Sometimes people use the reading, one of the readings for the, the Mass that day or for the Sunday Mass, and you read it prayerfully. You meditate on it, you pray from it, and then sometimes you find a certain peace in it by doing that. Lexia Divina is, again, an ancient practice, and it's something that's been important for monks. So it's a, a big part of monastic spirituality. Here at St. Procopius Abbey, for example, the requirement is that we pray Lexia Divina for at least a half hour each day. Traditionally, Lexia Divina has been broken up into four steps. And the four steps are reading, meditation, prayer, and contemplation. So I'll say a little bit about each step. Reading, here when you read, you want to read scripture again prayerfully. It's not like you're reading a textbook or reading a newspaper for information. You're not trying to get through it quickly and glean uh, certain facts from it. But you want to read it carefully, slowly, I think you read with expectation. So especially if you're reading, uh, if you're doing Lexi Divina with scripture, right? you have before you the word of God. So this is God's word spoken to you, spoken to the church. And so there's a message, there's a truth in there for you. And so when you read it, there's a certain expectation that's going to speak to you. There's something there worth pondering, something that's going to help you. So you read it that way. You read it often again and again. You know, if you spend some time just read it again and again and see what speaks to you. After you read it, or even while you read it, you're going to meditate on it. So here you want to kind of turn it over in your mind, think about it. People have different ways of doing this. So some people, sometimes if they're reading, for example, a narrative, a story, they're going to imagine themselves in the story. Sometimes people meditate by finding a word or a phrase in the reading that kind of strikes them, that especially stood out, and continue to think about that and kind of chew on it as some of the monks would say, of the, some traditionally it's been an image, this idea of chewing on the word of God and letting it, kind of getting the nourishment from it. So you meditate with it, again, just thinking about it, thinking, trying to make sense of it, trying to see what it's saying, see what the truth is in the scripture passage. So that's meditation. And then you pray. And here the idea is that from your meditation, from whatever insight or whatever came to you from your meditation, you're going to offer a prayer to God. And so from the words of Scripture, from what it's kind of led you to think about, you offer a prayer. So for example, if I'm reading a passage and it's about the cross of Jesus Christ, then perhaps I'm reminded of crosses that I've been asked to carry. And from there I might pray to God, asking the Lord to help me carry certain crosses. And then the fourth thing is contemplation. And this is perhaps the hardest to describe it's usually very experiential. People can say different things about contemplation and different kinds of contemplation. But the basic idea is there's a certain peace, a certain rest that you find. So you've read the passage, you've meditated on it, you've prayed from it, and then sometimes you just simply rest in where that leads you. There's a certain sense of God's presence, something that God has spoken to your heart perhaps through the scriptures. And so you have this peace, this rest in scripture. The practical question is, how much time should be spent doing Lexia Divina? As I mentioned before, in my monastery, the requirement is to do a half hour each day. If you don't have a half hour, remember, something is better than nothing. So if it's five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, um, just do it. You know, to pray, you have to just simply find the time to do it. Make time for it. If you're beginning at it, I would suggest perhaps try to find fifteen minutes if you can. And also, I think it's good to start with a gospel passage. So you might choose one of the Gospels and just take a passage from it, perhaps one of the parables or miracles or teachings of Christ and passage, and use that. Use that for your Lexia to get started. And then perhaps you might go to other parts of Scripture. It's a great practice. Scripture is a great gift to us. And when we read it with faith that this is the Word of God, it really can nourish us and help us as we seek to serve God and give Him glory in all things. God bless.